YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Noel Blends. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. We are going to be doing a high tape on my boy. I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do to achieve this type of look. Other than that, let's get right into it and I hope you guys like the video. Let's go. So the first thing you want to do is grab your one and a half card, lever fully closed, and we're, we're going to clean up basically all the bolt. That way we set up our foundation on where our blend is going to be right at. As he gets closer to the Prado Ridge, you do want to go straight up and not really dig into his bulk. We want to keep a good amount of weight on the sides, that way we, we blend into it. Next, what you want to do is grab your trimmers and create our first initial bulk guideline. And we are going to take it, it is a high taper, so we ain't going to be doing no C-cups on here. Just make sure everything's down to the trimmer and make sure everything's nice and cleaned up. That way we can get our blending going. Next, we take your shavers and we get everything down to skin basically and just go straight up to the line. But keep light pressure, do not put heavy pressure, or else that bottom line is going to be a little more tougher to take out on our next steps. So just let the shaver do its work. Next, what you want to do is grab your half guard, lever fully closed, and create about half an inch guideline. The, the fading area, we are going to be, it is going to be a tight blend. It's not really going to be such a really blown up. So you want to do about half an inch and just make sure everything's down to the half card and just even consistent lines that's going to be the best way to get your, your blend looking nice and neat. So right here we're taking out the bottom line after we did the half card. We're coming in with our Oster Fast Freeze and taking out that bottom line. Just play with the, the lever but honestly I just got to open it about a quarter and it, it should come right out. Right here what I'm doing we grab our zero gap trimmers and we're just cleaning up any little stubble that clipper didn't get. Next what you want to do is grab your one guard lever fully open. Now we're going to start to sandwich the blend. So we're going to keep the blade flat guys and go. when we're getting to his pride ridge make sure you flick out still that way we don't dig too heavy into his bulk. You want to keep as much weight as possible. That's just the way my client requested it. So you want to flick up when you're getting towards the bulk. But right there, you see me close it halfway, and we're going to go almost to the top, and then we're going to fully close it. Keep in mind, this won't take out the, the guideline completely, but it's going to soften it up a lot. Next, what you want to do is grab your half guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to use utilize just our corners and take out the remaining little dark spots. Be careful with this step because you can't push up the blend, so once you see it come out, just leave it alone. Do not stress it. I did add some hairspray to lock in his lineup, that way his hairs do not go all over the place and we just lock it in and we can get a better crispy lineup in. Make sure when using the razor you do stretch the skin, that way you don't irritate your client and the, the razor can glide better. I do like to dry shave but sometimes I do use a shave gel on my clients because I do have some clients that have really sensitive skin. I do recommend using shave gel when really or just starting, that way you guys uh, ir don't irritate your clients. Dry shaving does take a little bit of practice but I do recommend using shave gel first and then you can move on to dry shaving if you, if you would like. If not, go ahead and use shave gel, there's nothing wrong as well with that. Now for the back taper guys, we are going to be doing a uh, high taper with the uh, design in the back. He wanted a design. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start off by debulking. The reason I do this is just so I can set my foundation in and really see where that blend's gonna be at, and that way I can pretty much match it to however his head shape is. That way it don't look too low or too high as well. So right here, what we're doing, we're setting in our first initial bald guideline. We are gonna take it up. From his earlobes, as you guys can see right there, I match him up with his earlobes. We just go straight across and just get everything down to the trimmer. Just clean everything up. That way we can come in with our shaver like right here. And we're going to just take everything down. Go all the way to the top. Do not be afraid. Just light pressure. And um, clean everything up. Make sure it's down to skin. Next, what you want to do is grab your half guard lever fully closed. And we're going to create about an inch guideline back here. 
we are doing bigger guidelines that way we have a more of a blend or more of a longer stretch blend in the back that way it looks real nice pretty much what i'm trying to say is do not keep the the blend super tight in the bottom because what you want to do on tapers is you want to see that back blend that way it pops out next what you want to do is take out the bottom line and we're going to do this by taking our oster fast feeds and just going right at the line flicking out more right here and pretty much just breaking the line i open it about a quarter not, nothing too crazy and just that's all i have to open and the line will come right out but if you have to open it more go ahead and do it just play with the lever but go right on it and just give it a flick and it should come right out Next, what you want to do is grab your zero gap trimmers and just take off any remaining little stubble that your clipper didn't get. Just go right on and flick out. Next, what you want to do is grab your one guard lever fully open and we're going to create about another inch guideline. Keep in mind towards the middle where it's more heavy, you do want to give it more of a flick instead of keep the, keeping the blade completely flat. As you guys can see, I closed it halfway right here, and we're gonna do about literally about the same thing we just did with the one guard open, but this time just close it halfway and go almost to the top. Just remember to keep that blade flat, but when you're towards the middle, just maybe give it more of a little flick that way you don't dig too much into it. Right there, as you guys can tell, I completely closed it, and we're gonna attack that middle ghost line. It's not gonna take it out, but it's just gonna soften it up. Next, we grab our half guard and we're going to attack that middle, the rest of that remaining ghost line. Keep the lever fully closed. And right here, you do want to give it more of a flick towards the middle. That way, you don't push up the blend as well. And you try to utilize your corners as well on the little, little dark spots you see. And just go right on and flick it. Once you see it come out, just leave it alone. So that's basically how we do our blend. Now what I'm doing, I'm going back and detailing a little bit more with my Oster Fast Feeds and just getting those little dark spots. As you can tell, I'm utilizing my, my corners and just going right on it and flicking out. Lining up the little dark spots I want. That way it looks more uh, neat all around. So I do grab my one and a half guard and I do clean up around his ear. That way you get a nice crispy lineup. Uh, I do this when the hair is not super heavy on the side that way we can get it nice and sharp If it's really heavy and he wants to keep all the bulk I'll do it maybe with the number two guard that way we it, we keep it darker as well But you what you want to do is just clip the or Get the one and a half guard level fully closed and just clean it up So right here as you guys can see just clipper over combing um, Connecting the top to the bottom basically what you want to do is go straight up and pull out as you guys can see I'm pulling out not really digging into it so that's basically how we do our blend now we all we got left is to add on his lineup and add a little design he wanted i don't usually do designs but i'm gonna just let you guys sit back and watch to, uh this cut come together if you guys want to learn how to do a design in detail let me know comment down below let me know what you guys want to see that way i can do a whole video on on how i do my designs as well how to make it easier for y'all i'll be more than happy to show you guys remember comment down below and let me know So just in case you guys forgot what my client came in looking like, this was a before, and this is what I came up with. I think the cut came out super dope, something simple, 
add a little bit of texture powder on top that way we get them give them a little messy look if you guys like this cut com comment down below follow me on my instagram at noel blends on my tiktok at noel blends hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video and comment down below what you guys want to see next week other than that i'm noel blends and i'll see you guys next time peace